guys, I'm Mariah Milano, and tonight I am at Birch and Vine in the Birchwood Hotel, right in downtown St. Pete. It is beautiful. And my guest tonight will be Chef Jason. I'm here with Chef Jason, and this is a living wall, and I'm so impressed by this, I don't even know how to explain it. So Jason, can you tell us about this beautiful living wall? Well, we have basically here uh, a company called Uriah's Urban Farms that sends this to us. It's grown over in Ebor, and every Tuesday and Friday they bring in these little segments that you can actually pull oh, wow. right out. So these sit down and grown hydroponically, Wow! and then they bring them out and they just hook it onto the back here, and we clip it down as we need, take it in the back. It smells and amazing wash, too. Of course, and that's the beauty about it is that the greens and the herbs are just so incredibly flavorful fresh. because they're, you can't yeah. get any, any more fresh than this. Yeah, so we use these for our mixed greens. And then over here we also have our, our Tuscan baby kale. Oh wow. That we're gonna do on our, That's the one baby of our kale. dishes today. Oh my and this, goodness. This kale, I mean, you can just see That's how beautiful. beautiful. It is. I mean, oh it's my just gosh. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Try try to. Oh my god. That the texture is so... of it is awesome. It's it's not too of it because it's still in baby form so it's, it's nice so delicate green. good. I could eat that like every day. <laughs> oh no I want one in my house. It's a 35 day cycle so when I want to change something I have to wait 35 days. I after see. I, after I pick it out. I see. So today we're going to use it for the salad. Yeah we're going to do the mixed green salad uh, and we're also going to do the oyster dish as well. Oh my goodness I'm so excited. And we'll do a cocktail too. We'll definitely have a cocktail. Gotta yes, have cocktails. gotta have cocktails. <laughs> this is amazing. All right. This is uh, showcasing our vertical wall, edible wall. Uh, we have our mixed green salad here uh, that has got a pineapple sage dressing on it that is also from the vertical wall. Our dried figs, great tomatoes, we have grilled butternut squash, gorgonzola cheese, some salted candied almonds. Uh, and then the drizzle around is a rice wine vinegar reduction. It's got ginger, clove, and a little bit of mandarin orange peel infused into it. Great, great. This is, yeah. Fall dinner salad. Oh my God. What, it's so different. Everything's balanced. Mm. Um, and then the dressing itself is sweet and it's it's a tofu based uh, dressing that we do in there. Tofu. I'm in love with this. This is amazing. Thank you very much. So if I was to order it, what would I say I want? Um, the the Uriah's Farm mixed green salad. That's how it's listed. How do I say it again? Uriah's Farms mixed Uriah's green salad. Farms mixed green salad. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. You guys have no idea. Like the best salad I've ever had. We also offer it with uh, chicken, uh, grilled chicken, grilled salmon, uh, shrimp white oh, anchovies. Wow. We give a few different protein options on there too, so you could actually make it a meal. Exactly. I was just going to say, you can make it a meal. It is so good. I love it. Thank you. Here we have our sous vide St. Louis style ribs. Mm. Uh, we sous vide them in our combi oven overnight and they just fall off the bone. Uh, from there, when somebody orders them, we take them out of the sous vide bag and then lightly grill them heat them back up and baste them in our kimchi barbecue sauce. Uh, and then we garnish on top with uh, local macadamia nuts, which we oh, get from wow. uh, Anderson Farms uh, down just outside of Fort Myers. So it's nice to keep it local there and it's just a great product and it's, it's always nice supporting small family farms. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my God. It's so moist because it's, it's cooked inside of the, the sous vide bag, so it holds all the moisture in and still making it extremely tender. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Thank you very much. We have our uh, local Florida Gulf oysters here, crispy fried. Uh, we also do this as a, a gluten-free tapioca starch and corn starch to get the crispiness there so gluten-free people exactly. are able to eat it as well, which you know is, is huge right now. Awesome, and it's healthy. Exactly. And then the base is a mixed corn salsa. We got the, uh, the baby Tuscan kale in there from the vertical wall. Um, we have blistered tomatoes is what I call them. It's basically just lightly fried so the, the grape tomato skin comes off, so it's a nice, delicate texture in your mouth. It's topped with a little queso fresco and uh, the vinaigrette 
is a cured chorizo vinaigrette. So you get that nice Latin flavor yeah. along with the queso fresco. We have some ancho chili powder sprinkled along the outside. Is that what? Okay. Yeah. And then uh, the hot sauce on each side is our house, house made hot sauce. So if people want to give it a little extra kick, they can. Oh my God. Oh my God. The oil of, from the chorizo, we, we cook the chorizo in the oil and then strain the chorizo out and use that oil as part of the vinaigrette. So you're really getting that chorizo flavor throughout. This is, I'm, I'm in love, I can't. Here we got our local day boat catch, uh, which rotates all the time. Today we have golden tile fish. Oh, wow. All of them from Florida waters. That's the only uh, fish that we purchased for this dish. It's got a fish fume, which is finished with a little bit of yuzu butter. Uh, so you get the citrus in there along with the olive, the brininess of the olive. Uh, and then we make our house-made ravioli that's got ricotta that we make in-house. Oh, okay. And the swoosh along the bottom of the plate there is a black garlic aioli. Oh, oh my god. Tile fish has just got a great flavor. You know, a lot of people compare it to, to like a grouper, but it's, it's a little bit more delicate, a little bit more flaky. Fish. Golden tile fish? Yes. This is amazing. On the side the yeah, the golden tile came uh, out of Port Orange, just oh. north of Daytona. What a beautiful, creative dish this is. Oh my god. Nothing like fresh pasta. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -mm. That is so freaking good. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Thank you very much. Oh my god. All right, chef, so what do we have here? We have uh, one of our signature dishes. Definitely can't come off the menu here. Again, we got the, the sous vide style cooking on our sea scallops. Mm. We take a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of miso paste, whisk it together, put it inside of the, uh, the plastic bag that we are sous vide uh, and then cook it slow for about 20 minutes or so, 135 degrees. And then when it's ordered, we take it out of the bag, sear the scallop a nice golden brown. Mm. Um, so what it does is it imparts the orange miso flavor all the way through and holds in all the juices and makes it extremely tender. Again, like what, like what we have with the ribs. Um, this is served over a bed of truffle grits. Oh, wow. The grits we get out of Tallahassee, Bradley's uh, Stone Ground Grits. They're amazing. They got a little bit more texture to them. I'm really, really a big fan of these grits. Oh, wow. Uh, we have a edamame and corn succotash on top of that. A crispy made-in-house pork belly as well. So we got the scallop and the bacon in there. It's just a phenomenal combination. We we'll take the orange exciting. miso reduction sauce, glaze the scallops in the end, drizzle some on the plate, wow. and then garnish it with our uh, local mar microgreens from Glory Road Gardens uh, out of Lutz. Great, oh, wow. They do a great job for us. We're, we're one of their biggest customers. Oh my God. It just melts. That is amazing. Chef, like, wonderful. And with the truffle grits, the, the heaviness of that cup with the acidity of the orange juice, the saltiness of the miso, and then all together, you get the, the saltiness of the, the pork belly. Perfection. Thank you. Perfection. All right, so we have, a, we have a little nightcap for a dessert here. Mm. This is called our birch with lemon basil, uh, again, off of our vertical wall. Uh, we have the lemon basil for there, so it's got that really great pungent taste to it. Uh, the ingredients in this is uh, made with Hendrix gin, which is my personal favorite. Never had it. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's, a, it's got a nice uh, background of cucumber and rose water, so it's just very light and refreshing. Love that. Uh, we mix it with uh, a little bit of St. Germain, um, fresh lemons, which we source here locally, the lemon basil itself off the wall, um, also some cucumber. Cheers. 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 Oh my gosh. Nice, light, refreshing, got a hint of sweetness to it, and that herbaceous punch. This is amazing. So my thing, I'm in love. <laughs> I bet they creep up on you because it takes it so light. And it, it's so light and delicious. And so you don't you taste can, alcohol at all. You can, you can, Guzzle them down, and then all of a sudden, whoop, 
<laughs> this is a really good, and, very different. And that, what I like about this cocktail as well is it's not like one of those specialty cocktails. You're like, that's great, but I don't want another one. You can drink these all afternoon. I'm, I totally agree. I can't stand that when it's like this. Yeah. Like I said, afternoon. <laughs> exactly. So good. Cheers again. I, I had, a, I had again. a blast. This is such Thank a good you. time. I did too, Chef. Thank you. All right, you guys have to come and check out Birch and Vine at the Birchwood Hotel. It is an amazing restaurant. Also, my room I'm staying in. Check this out. It's beautiful. The rooms are very luxurious. The sheets are from Paris. The furniture is all from Europe. It's amazing. Chef Jason, and he is amazing. Thank you very much. You guys will love it.